let's discuss about the security access service security access service is one of the important service in UDS the reason behind that is because it is going to be used to unlock the ECU before going to do the data transfer or the download of new software if you want to perform a download of a new software you need to unlock the ECU and to unlock the ECU you need to use the security access service okay so there will be uh, generally uh, seed and key mechanism will be used in the security access service okay so what will be the action let's say first you need to send the seed and based on that you will uh, get a key value so there will be um, some algorithm which will be used to generate the key okay it is basically specific to the OEM and uh, even again um, the the bytes number of bytes for the seed and key is also OEM specific but generally the number of seed will be three or four and even key will be the three or four depending on the OEM how it will choose so let, let's see the, what they have written over here the, in order to prevent the unauthorized access to the issue the vehicle manufacturer implement the security access service which is specific in UDS standard so yeah that's what we discussed now let's let's move to the next point so what is the structure of the security access service the security access service generally the SID for the security access service is 27 so the, this is the SID service ID is 27 and uh, then you have the yeah sub or let's say uh, yeah uh, you have the subcode right so basically you have the uh, service ID and uh, <clears throat> so 01 which you will use to uh, generate the key okay so let's say uh, once you send the 2701 you will get the uh, seed value so it, it may be the 3 byte value or it may be the 4 byte value so depending on the yeah, uh, OEM it will choose this 3 byte or byte so that's what uh, typically it, it is it is basically even mentioned over here and uh, the th the point here is let's say the the mechanism uh, will be used and some mechanism will be used to generate sometimes it will be a random seed generation or there will be a specific method also will be used but you will get the so uh, as, as, as I said the 27 and in response you will get a 67 same the yeah uh, uh, zero 01 you will get over here and then you will get the response byte will which will be the seed value over here so what they have written over here is ECU will then respond with the positive response which contains the what is called security seed uh, and the length of the seed um, is vehicle manufacturer specific but typically it will be three or four but that's what we have seen over here so now in the next point uh, let's let's um, see uh, I think um, yeah I think it is it is the same what we discussed now okay now we will go so there is a one more uh, specific thing okay um, yeah generally as I said uh, uh, the seed uh, value which is which is used and based on the seed value the key value uh, will be generated but there is some other other things as well which is called a security constant so sometimes uh, security constant will be also used so in combination with the seed and the security constants once both is both the values are combined with the which will go to the specific algorithm okay and to generate the key value and uh, once that because that's why you if you know the seed value also you cannot generate the key value as well because you need to know the security constant constant as well in some cases as I said depending on the seed value 3 or 4 byte and even uh, security constant may also have uh, uh, 5 bytes or sometimes it will be different as well so combined once we combine both the things then we will get the key value and uh, once we'll get the key value which uh, we will send uh, uh, again 2702 with the key value then we will be able to unlock the issue however there are certain cases where we will have a multiple security access level let's say also is possible okay so yeah that, that is also possible so depending on the which uh, how depth the security is basically implemented and based on that it will happen okay now let's let's go to the next point so here is as I said here uh, the 2702 and uh, this is the key value so once I will send the correct key value then um, ECU will basically 
and grant the access or it will unlock the issue to perform the next set of operation okay so 2702 you will not get any um, byte because yeah this is the positive response and that's why it is it is saying yeah it is true otherwise you will get nrc okay so what are the different nrc which is being supported over here is 12 definitely the sub function basically which we sold uh, sub function is not supported okay then incorrect message length or yeah invalid format so if you are let's say giving 5 byte of seed value or maybe 1 byte of seed value something like that or maybe you are getting the incorrect length itself so generally you will get this so again sub function if you are giving some function which is not supported then you will get 12 condition not correct so let's say if you are trying to unlock the issue in specific condition where it is not allowed then you will get a uh, 22 or oh, yeah maybe the default session or yeah there are different uh, possible things which in which you will get a 27 22 basically so let's say you are in default session where security access is itself is not supported or maybe something else where there's a speed limit is something so there are multiple criteria depending on which kind of issue you are so if some condition which is basically restricting this access then also you will get 22 24 is basically a sequence uh, error so if you are trying to unlock the 2702 you are trying to do before doing the 2701 then you will get this error and the request out of French is basically something uh, which is yeah where it is outside the range it is it is then you will get uh, this error as well so now now let's um, yeah there are there are specific uh, nrc again addition to this which we call it as an uh, nrc 35 nrc 36 and nrc 37 which is very very important to know if you have implemented because this generally if you if you say that i worked on this secret access service then definitely the question will come about this an interviewer will ask about uh, this uh, NRC definitely so NRC 35 36 37 is specific to the security access so if you are trying so let's say first example which is which is we are saying 35 so in in 35 what we say that invalid key so now you perform the 2701 and 2702 now let's say your uh, key value is 555553 five, 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 byte value but you are trying to unlock with value 111111 3 byte value and then it is as it is invalid key uh, it will throw this error okay so this is the specific again yeah uh, the 36 is exceed uh, that number of attempts so let's say you tried this 111111 with 3 bytes value one time second time third time so now oh, there is a configuration which will say that you are allowed to enter or give the invalid, invalid key for three times and now once you try to attempt at the fourth time with the invalid key then you will get this nrc because you are you already tried let's say you will get first time 35 second time 35 third time 35 now once you try third time it will give a 36 okay and now after 36 uh, yeah now it will basically uh, start a timer okay so if you again time you are trying to do um, the again trying to unlock this with uh, invalid key then um, it will say 37 because the it at, at, at this stage uh, at 36 stage um, once you get the nrc 36 it will basically start a timer okay and it is a basically a kind of delay timer okay and uh, it basically it says that you are now not allowed let's say till let's say if it is configured to be one minute then you are not allowed to uh, do a next attempt till one milli one second basically whatever the time which we they configured okay so that's why if you try to attempt uh, again during this time then you you will get the nrc 37 so in whatever the time uh, let's say in between let's say in between this time if you attempt again and again you will get this nrc and once this timer is getting expired then yeah then you you will again get a 35 if you are trying to attempt with the invalid key so this is the very much important uh, things which uh, you need to know maybe i will try to explain this in a separate video where i will uh, try to flow i will try to create a new diagram where you you can see the exact uh, uh, nrc uh, 
35 30 second race one in which stage you will get it but yeah definitely for the moment i think um, this is the uh, good explanation i would say if you still have a doubt you can comment it so now let let's see this so i think this is the description they have given for invalid key so what is the description send the send the, uh, send if the uh, security key sent by the tester does not match the expected key value so if the uh, if you are trying to attempt with the invalid key then you will we will get uh, this because it is it is not matching with the expected key value now 36 exited number of attempts send if a delay timer is active due to too many incorrect uh, send key security access request okay so basically here data will be active and but yeah you already it is it is basically as i said it is number of attempt is more than the configured one then you will get this and definitely 37 the timer is still active that's why you will get this so now uh, ed data identifier i think um, we have already seen this but yeah let's see one more time so read data by identifier uh, will be the 22 service okay and 22 service i think we have already seen how it is so basically it is being used to read some um, data let's say if you wanted to read the um, uh, let's say speed limit or maybe some um, uh, let's say the some error counter values or maybe the some specific uh, uh, yeah things let's say the wiper position or maybe anything okay uh, light position light status anything specific to this so then you will try to read this uh, data using this 22 service and then you will get uh, if, if, if everything is okay then you will get the positive response but yeah if something is not correct then basically we analyze what exactly is wrong in this and uh, to while analyzing we will come across the different nrcs it could be the 12 as as it is as i said this is sub function not supported if some function is not supported on which you are requesting then you will get this incorrect message length uh, it is again uh, let's say if you are trying to give uh, the data by identifier with three byte or which is which is incorrect or maybe the the total length let's say in the uds prem format itself the total length is saying we are saying let's say five byte but you are giving wrong data bytes let's say there are two or three something like that then you will get this error condition not correct you are not allowed to read somewhere in some session and due to some conditions which is very specific to um, uh, that ecu or maybe some conditions then you will get this 22 uh, nrc and then you are not allowed to read that data basically or you it is restricted data and you but you are trying to access then you will get request out of range so yeah these are the different nrcs which we will get and yeah uh, basically another nrc which we uh, say is nrc 14 so response uh, too long basically should be sent if the uh, total length of the response exit the maximum length defined in the governing transport protocol so if, if it is yeah it, it is it, the response uh, length is yeah bigger than the specified one then we will get this so write data, write data by identifier is just uh, opposite to the read data by identifiers where now read data by, data by identifier where you will write uh, the particular value so you wanted to yeah uh, set uh, some counters maybe you wanted to set some limits okay so and yeah even even uh, maybe you wanted to set some flags uh, where we said the application will it flag or there are many possible things where you wanted to write uh, those values okay or maybe the error error uh, things where we are saying the or maybe uh, where alarm is being generated because of uh, some issue okay and then you want to write the data then basically write data by identifier is being used there are something called uh, write data by mem let's say write by memory as well okay so that is also possible where you will write to the specific uh, memory and same thing read by memory is also possible where you will read from a specific memory rather than using the identifier so 
that is also possible but yeah uh, we will see this uh, right data by identifier now in this case so the the service id for this is 2e so uh, that's why that is this sid is 2e and then followed by the sub function basically sub function is f158 in this case in this example and then followed by the data which you wanted to write okay and uh, it may be possible that this uh, each did basically each data by identifier will be linked with the specific uh, number of bytes basically if you say that i wanted to write some speed value i wanted to write alarm or i wanted to write uh, viper position or or etc so let's say in this case speed will definitely contain one or, or let's say two three four bytes maximum but if something i have some snapshot data where i will dump everything the position which why uh, let's say rear wiper front wiper all the details which is so it could be a one structure the number of byte will be more in this case uh, so it depends on the which data by identifier i am writing and depending on that uh, the there will be a mapping which we call the service table okay so service table will specify this it's a, this data by identifier how are uh, linked with how many number of data bytes and it should match uh, exactly the same otherwise you will get an error so definitely the right data by identifier followed the same uh, nrc which we already discussed let's say 13 22 31 and uh, there are some additional let's say security access denial because if you wanted to write you need special permission otherwise for read it is sometimes okay because reading is is, is not that much crucial but for writing uh, it is it is crucial and it is not allowed to write uh, and you if you need to unlock the ecu before writing and that's why if you do not unlock the ecu then you will get the security access denial which is nrc 33 and uh, sometimes you if you are trying to attempt but if it is right is not successful right is not happening then you will get the general programming failure as well so these are the different nrc which is supported um, in for the right data by identifier um, and if you wanted to know how the frame format for this is being that and then i covered that in different videos but definitely yeah if you want then we can cover it separately routine control routine control is again one of the very important uh, feature if you talk about the boot order then <coughs> routine control is is basically will be used for the erasing data and in in certain case uh, yeah certain validation also will be performed using the routine control so routine control is is kind of what basically routine control so routine control is is a kind of routine um, once you execute uh, that service once you execute uh, that service id then it will it will start to perform that routine so routine could is, is kind of a function maybe so it is in this example that's i will uh, it is a kind of erase operation so once we start the erase operation we may uh, it may take long time it may take one second it may take 10 seconds it may take one minute also depending on the number of uh, size or num number of many memory bytes basically so there could be other other possibility as well where you you will execute to do a perform a calibration or uh, maybe certain uh, functionality let's say you wanted to reset something or uh, yeah there, there could be many functionality right, which may take some additional time or which you wanted to configure something so then in this typical case uh, let's say bluetooth configuration or something so where you have some functionality or some function which you wanted to perform once it is it is executed so for this uh, it may be possible that you required a long amount of time or you may require less amount of time depending on that there are different type of routine control okay which i think uh, maybe we will not cover in in this video but yeah there are different types of routine um, and uh, why there are different types of routine that i will just tell you so so one example let's say if i wanted to uh, perform the routine control but i want uh, I, I at the end only i want to get the positive response but it may be possible that you want uh, to get the positive response just to know start itself or maybe once you get the, some confirmation so that's why let's say in, in certain case let's say where one possibility is that once you start the routine and uh, you will end the routine only if everything is finished and then you will get the positive you will wait 
till that time other possibilities that you once you start then you definitely know that it is going to be finished after a certain time irrespective of any any other thing because it is it is going to happen it is not that much crucial then what you will say that okay immediately on a start you send the positive response and let it do the rest of the function later on so depending on our choice there are different kind of routine um, control we have okay and uh, yeah that maybe we will see later on so what is the SID for the routine control is 31 so 31 is the service ID and then again it, it is support the uh, sub function sub function 0 1 okay and then you follow by the follow by the routine ID so as just like the DID you may have the multiple function to be executed right? so you need different routine ID it may be po possible that you will have 0 1 1 FF 0 0 FF 0 1 FF 0 2 something like that so you will specify that again and it each routine uh, will have uh, some optional record basically so maybe you you need to send some additional information along with your routine control that uh, okay um, you you need let's say to indicate something let's say if you wanted to start something with respect to speed then you will specify that okay my speed value is this or there are some additional information which you wanted to give uh, to <clears throat> perform the routine because that is the input for that routine to start or to perform certain action and that's why this routine control have this optional record which the length of that will vary depending on the routine and uh, again the service table will have this information which routine will have the how many number of byte of optional record and it should match uh, with the record it should match with the record and the detail once you send the routine control request so let's let's in this example i think it is it is clearly say, uh, said that what is kind of the erase which is which is the routine so 3101 ff00 ff00 is is basically a routine uh, control id or rid generally typically people said rid and uh, for other uh, let's say the d data binary they just said the did or data by identifier so what is this basically a typically erase routine control uds request this request aim to start an eraser of the e square prom or a press memory sector before downloading the block okay so that's why so here we will specify the block which is uh, one let's say one one five basically so this basically does this this is the request for the erasing uh, of a particular sector which we are executing over here and uh, again yeah once it is successful we'll get the positive response with yeah um, 71 okay and uh, yeah followed by the the sub function okay and uh, definitely uh, again uh, if, if there is uh, some error we'll get some nrc again it is it is much more similar nrc which we have in the previous example it is 12 13 22 yeah here again let's say whenever you have a sequence right so here again um, there are different routine control as as i said so get results so once you will um, send the request let's say there, there is a request to start the routine which is let's say in the which will happen then you you will get the there is other let's say 27 uh, 31 basically uh, 0203 so sometimes you will get the 0 2 to get the status and then so yeah so there are different stages where your final result you will get it okay so 27 uh, 30 so, sorry 3101 3102 3103 which you will be followed depending on that so that's why you will get a sequence error here here as well if you try to just like 27 uh, if you uh, try to give some in wrong order then you will get this error request out of range you are trying to access some memory which is not um, accessible it is not allowed to do that then this one again routine control it is special permission is required to execute the routine control which is security access if you need to have the security access um, and you need to unlock the issue before executing the service otherwise you will not be allowed to execute this and you will get the nrc 33 and because of the some reason you are not able to erase you are not able to perform that routine and because of the some internal yeah some problems you will get nrc uh, 72 so these are the different errors uh, which is being supported 
now now let's let's discuss about the request download so request download is is the the main uh, so there are once you will talk about the downloading part or uh, yeah basically software download which we call uh, once if you wanted to update your uh, software uh, over the air or maybe some other via other way by uh, like connecting the tester then at the end it will execute uh, this uh, uh, service which is we call it as a request download service and we'll talk about it more let's say the, the, the service id for that is 34 okay and the 34 is yeah as i said it is sid then you have the something called a data format identifier so generally uh, what kind of data you are whether it is compressed data uncompressed data or maybe some additional thing which you are going to specify over here so what kind of format it, it support that will specify it over here then address and length format because definitely once you will send the the request uh, for the um, request download then you, we need uh, information let's say what is the in which memory area what is the flash address and how much how, how many bytes we wanted to flash so these are the basic information whenever we perform any action because to which memory area i wanted to download or program basically this is basically a, you are doing the programming because you, you you have your application software which is of let's say in mb or kb it, irrespective of what size you have and depending on that it will take up take the amount of time but you will have a certain memory address in which you wanted to perform the download or the program you wanted to program that address so you need the address start address detail and then you will need a size it's 100 by 200 bytes how many number of bytes you want to do that then based on that so here it may be possible that you will reserve four byte for the memory address depending on the what kind of ecu what kind of controller you have but yeah uh, you you may require four bytes here and you may require four bytes here as well to specify the which memory area you wanted to um, yeah, download and how what is the size so you will specify here and uh, with this uh, service and uh, later on yeah you will get the response so for example this is the this is the example which in which we are covering let's say the 34 then we are saying we do not have any compressed data something like that then yeah basically then we say that we have a four byte for the st uh, um, four byte for my uh, start address and four byte for the my size as well so that's why i am giving four four over eight may be possible four three i will give depending on my account then this three byte instead of this four byte i will have the size for the size i will reserve the three byte only so here i have a four four that means four byte of uh, memory address first in the start address and then four byte is is basically my size so i specified both the things here then it basically it will it will now um, the download the data it will request the to perform the download request okay here we see some additional detail because you need to know the maximum um, number of uh, block length as well because generally the maximum uh, if, if we talk about the can can right so there there will be um, a maximum length which will be a 4k because if you talk about the the can segmented data request uh, can tp so that limited that is that is having the limitation where you will have a 4k you basically you will have a 12 bits uh, for that uh, to uh, represent the max block line and that's why it is 12 bit represent the 4k maximum and you cannot go beyond that so what here they says is the response from a requested download uds request contain the information about how large data requests are accepted by the ecu required the that ecu must be able to accept at least transfer data then request um, of the length specified by the max block length so it may be possible that you will have the maximum block length which is uh, 
supported by can is 4k but you will restrict that to 1k or 2k because your your idea is to send only 1k or 2k in one blo one chunk of one block basically okay that's why you will specify that and that is basically a kind of requirement which you will also get from the oem because it will specify this is my max block length and though it will support 4k can will support the 4k max block length but you will spend only that much data which is specified as a next block as in the max block length requirement okay so typically uh, the response byte will contain the 74 then yeah uh, uh, 20 so here you will also get uh, sometimes uh, you will get the crs uh, no no not crc so here you, you are getting the max block uh, length okay so what it, it is specifying that let's say the byte 2 or the length format indicate the how um, how many bytes max block length so basically here we are specifying the two basically so two byte of max block length which we are saying so two represent uh, basically uh, so the two represent the by bits basically so the the byte uh, 4 to 7 basically on a byte to indicate the max block length so basically my max block length is uh, max block length is equal to the 3170 which is in hex 0c62 uh, that's why the byte number 3 and 4 is containing this value uh, which is equivalent to so 31 as i said maximum it is 4k so, it should, so in any case it should not go beyond below above 4k so this is the response we will get it may vary this byte will vary depending on the requirement this is also may vary depending on the requirement again uh, the uh, the different nrc uh, it will support so definitely as we are talking about the different sequence download sequence which will contain the 34 36 and 37 as an SID so that's why sequence error also will come into the picture other uh, NRC are typical typically same 12 13 22 24 then 31 is also we discussed 33 secret access and definitely we need a special permission to perform the request download that's why 33 is also there 72 again if some cases which we are able not able to perform this operation then 72 also will be supported now let's talk about the transfer data transfer data uh, basically this is the actual phase where we will transfer the data okay so transfer data will typically start with the SID 36 then yeah the 3601 because the what we call is a block sequence counter so block sequence counter let's say in the first block let's say it it, it may be possible that as i said my application um, hacks file or application vbf file or application um, let's say the yeah bin file will contain um, let's say as i said it could be the mb in mb or it could be 5 mb 10 mb or it may be in that 60 kb 80 kb also so depending so i cannot transfer the because my maximum max block length is let's say 1k or 2k so i cannot transfer the complete uh, file in one block right so i need typically more block and that's why this is important so i need to transfer multiple blocks so 3601 i will transfer one block again 3602 i will transfer another block so let's say if i have a 10k size of uh, uh, 10k size of uh, uh, my application uh, binary and then i have a max block length is equal to 2k so to reach let's say uh, 10k i need it typically five iteration right so then you can all think of that i i will be needing a 3601 first 3602 because 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 that's why I need at least five um, uh, block sequence counter uh, to um, complete my 10 10 um, k size of application binary. So that's why you we will see that example of 3601, 3602, 3603. So typically, uh, yeah. So again, here also it is it is uh, yeah given an 
example or so depending as I, I, I have given one example right so um, <clears throat> depending on what kind of size which we have okay right and depending depending on that uh, let's say uh, my uh, number of uh, this blocks basically 36 0 and 36 0 2 will vary so what they are saying in this example therefore this the example shows that a transfer of 107 bytes issue has the maximum block length of 5 14 bytes including the uh, let's say SID and the block sequence counter because this size will cover this bytes also which is kind of overhead which is not counted in actual size so that's why we need to consider that as well this means that 512 bytes will be sent in the first two transfer okay um, yeah so basically 512 plus 512 means uh, it is it is um, 1024 and then rest 52 bytes I need to send separately in the third block so that's why it, it, it indicate this three block over here and with this three block I will be able to cover 1076 byte of data depending on that so this is the another example they have given and again uh, the typical NRC which is for 36 service is much more similar to other uh, it is 13 uh, incorrect message length or invalid format 24 again sequence error because 34 36 and 37 needs to be executed in exact sequence otherwise it will not work and that's why you if you do not uh, follow the sequence then you will get the sequence error request out of range you are trying to program something which is not in a specified range that's why you will get 31 and you will get a 72 let's say if you are trying to yeah perform programming before erasing then also you will get this error okay so these are the typical error and um, yeah other error other NRC is basically which is 71 transfer data suspended because of some reason you need to suspend then it is one wrong block sequence counter this is the specific error because you you are trying to send let's say 36 0, 1, 36 0, 3 direct 36 so if you're not following the same sequence then you will get this error again while uh, programming you need to have the voltage you you should be in specified voltage range otherwise it will continuously monitor that and you you need to uh, basically you will get this error basically because this is also required to be implemented in uh, our download sequence so that's why 92 and 93 is the another NRC which 92 is for voltage too high and 93 is for voltage too low okay so yeah I think it is it is whatever I said that is being described over here 37 let's say the is the request download request does not match the number of bytes sent by the transfer data request this energy should be sent by the issue so if this is the typical case and then if the does not match with the expected sequence uh, if the sequence is block sequence counter is expected to be incremented on each block but if it is not matching then you will get this error again and then voltage rent is not as, as expected then you will get this error which is of 92 and 93 okay so now uh, next is 37 37 is the transfer exit so transfer exit is you now you perform the 34 where you said that I wanted to perform the request download you will specify the block size you have performed the different block transfer now you wanted to exit the block transfer basically now, now you wanted to exit this transfer exit okay so then you you will get um, this request which is 37 the SID is 37 and um, once you will send then you will get a response in the response sometimes you will get a CRC um, as well because now you transfer the data and uh, now we wanted to see that what is the CRC of this complete uh, data 
and it should match you will have a certain extra validation where you will say that this is the CRC and expected it should match with the expected CRC so that's why in response uh, the let's say the the 77 you will get a response this is the response mm, you will get uh, because 30 37 is the SID and in in response you will add 40 then you will get 77 and then at the end let's say you will have the checksum if you are following the CRC 32 or maybe CRC 16 or maybe some other things then you will have this CRC which you will calculate at the end which will send in the response so our ECU can uh, basically check whether whether um, yeah basically it is matching or not matching and based on that we can say that my application download is successful or not or then based on that I can set the, my application validation flag as well so I can invalidate the application with flag if it is not matching there are some extra precaution or there could be some other extra uh, OEM specific um, uh, algorithm or OEM specific function which will be executing to confirm the whether application is valid or not because it is very much important that I will give a transfer to the application only and only if, if application is valid there is there is nothing uh, problem to transfer the uh, execution of the application then only I will do it otherwise it will uh, end up into the end up uh, at the corrupted ECU and I will not be able to recover the ECU back because and basically it is it is a kind of dead situation and uh, if it is happened then sometimes you need to at the at the vehicle level basically or at the company level you may need to recall as well because of certain uh, kind of this this kind of situation basically so it is very crucial it is very important and then that's why the OTA feature uh, which is being supported now in every ECU or uh, the reason behind that is this this thing because if, if you are having some problem with this then you will not be able to recover the issue and uh, yeah there is no other go and that's why you need to how take extra precaution to uh, in this direction again if we talk about the different NRC for the 37 typically again it is much more similar to the other services it is 30 13 24 31 72 it is the description for that is again same I need not to yeah say that again again it is applicable sequence error is 24 request out of range 31 72 if it is failing so I think we covered most of the aspect of the um, download sequence where we talk about the download uh, service 34 36 37 now if you have any specific question definitely I would like to answer you in this case and yeah definitely I, I would like to cover the the service 27 in deep because I think um, we have not covered that in a deep and even even 36 service because it is it is very important to know uh, much more about it because how the 36 uh, service internally follow the uh, yeah, different uh, let's say the uh, KNTP things which is uh, 20 uh, or the let's say consecutive frame and then flow control and then um, yeah or the basically the first frame continuous frame flow control and other things which is very much important uh, but I covered that in other other video but yeah I think with respect to the service 36 I have not covered it and which is I feel it very important so I, I, I would like to cover that in um, something somewhere in next video but uh, till then I think um, yeah if you have any question uh, for the uh, the service which I currently covered um, then you can put a comment on this uh, maybe I, I am too fast uh, for this because I need to cover this in, in in this short time but yeah definitely we will try to give a much more time uh, in specific um, detailed uh, video for each service then we will be able to answer all the question which you are getting but it is important to know at higher level uh, all this service at, at the first sight and once you are able to understand this then you may go at the next level where you will actually uh, go to the data part or actually see the can log 
uh, or the UDS or the or the basically UDS log which is part of Keno or Kenoi where you will see the exact byte what it represent why it is like that and then you you will be able to understand and debug each and everything but yeah definitely that that should be our motto but yeah this is the first um, part where you will have the higher level information and then I think we'll try to cover that as well in next coming video but till then yeah thanks for watching this video if you are still here I think then it is it is good uh, until yeah i think we will try to cover the something else in next video thank till then thank you and goodbye